morning I started this video basically uh, trying to show what I was working on and um, for some reason we lost two of the introduction clips so needless to say this is jumping forward and backwards in time so uh, a couple of years ago me and a friend called Chris Forward who's um, who's one of my best mates um, basically we tried to fix um, the fuel pump on this um, the old one had completely rusted through um, and was basically not doing what it was supposed to be doing so I ordered two different ones came in nothing like the ones that they said they were going to be um, didn't even fit I managed to twist one so that I could get some fittings in but unfortunately it meant that all my stainless steel um, fuel lines had to be taken out and then um, rubber ones replaced I don't like rubber ones I've had friends who've had accidents with rubber fuel hoses they crack they get old you gotta change them out regularly um <clears throat> so basically we were located down here the only, the only problem was that um when the boat um was going and you accelerated it would often um, just bog down and slow down and then start to speed up and I think it's because I had to make a modification to it in order to get it to fit because this particular brand of um, fuel pump is very difficult to get hold of now and I've had three different ones and everyone said they were compatible and every one of them just didn't fit or didn't come with the right bits to connect it all up all of these um, all of these um, rubber hoses are all new but there's actually stainless steel um, lines going into all of this or should be so part of the task for the moment is to try and change all of that out um, and reconnect everything we have a new part come in um, from Crowley Marine and I'm hoping that it will actually sit in the in the housing properly and everything will line up where it's supposed to. And then we can go forward from there. So one of the things I'm gonna do first, so I'm gonna clean out all of this and remove these batteries to give me a bit of space. These are the three replacements that I've bought over time that um, the original one, the original one just fell apart. It was completely corroded, rusted through. But the problem is, is this little fitting here, you can't actually get a replacement for it right now. Um, they, 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 they don't make them anymore. Um, so what was happening was on this one, um, this is the the absolute latest new one but on this particular one it was five degrees too far to the to the left so it wouldn't actually go up against the engine so I'm hoping that this is the correct size now um, this one was just completely different but it didn't have this piece and I can't get a replacement for that. So it basically wasn't sucking in um, the excess overflow, which is probably one of the reasons why it's bogging down. So I'm hoping that this one will finally do the job. So that's how a correctly fitted um, fuel pump should look. It's just in the right spot. So I would definitely um, consider these we'll have to finish the installation and then try it out and then hopefully this will sort the issues out but yay in order to tighten this up 
I'm having to take this bracket and the fuel separator out, which is proving to be a bit of a pain. Because... See that? But you can't really get a wrench. So I always get very excited when I see this piece because you can't buy it anywhere. It's actually a reducer. Um, it goes from five eighths to three quarters, I think it is. Um, but um, without it, you can't use the pre-built um, gas lines that are made out of stainless steel. You have to use hoses. And I don't like hoses because they have a tendency to crack and um, leak gas. So I can go back to my stainless steel now. There we go, just got to pull the hoses back. Much, much better, much nicer. You're a happy man.